What's going on, people? In the quest of developing the hustler mindset, because understand, this is something that is a continual, continuous process for myself, as well as what I would hope for it to be for you. Take some stuff out of it. And I just thought I would show you what I deal with. So let's go here to Mr. Chipper Me. Now, Chipper Me, now I wonder if you're going to be a bitch and actually delete your comments after this video come out. Because if you do that, that pretty much proves to me that you really don't believe in what you're talking about. And you just want a little attention. Like a little bitch. But, this is what he said. A degree is not always about economic gain. There are many people in college to keep a family business going to develop a lifelong hobby interest or for prestige. You can't really say it's foolish to get a degree if it puts you in debt because you don't know why the person is getting a degree. I don't know anyone with a degree who doesn't have a job money, but you seem to know a lot of them. This must be an Atlanta thing. Everyone I know without a job or money are people without a degree. My response, you don't know many people. Most people go to school to gain an education to take care of themselves. So yes, a degree is all about economic gain for most people. Most people being in capital letters because there are some people who are independently wealthy. They don't have to go to college. But let's talk about that. Name the number of people that you know who are independently wealthy. Hold on, let me play the Jeopardy music. Alex, I don't really know that many people who are independently wealthy. Only reason I know some people like that is because of having my own business and developing some relationships. And actually, I know quite a few because that's where my whole mindset comes from because many of these people don't have a degree or if they have a degree, they have their wealth because of inheritance. See, I know that little secret with some people. Uh, in terms of self-made, rich people that I know, I know a handful. In terms of people that dear old dad mom left them a shitload of money, that's the majority of the independent, independently wealthy people that I know. And some of, that, some of those people actually took the money and built on it and actually have more money. So kudos to them. But I'll say this. And I'm not marginalizing anyone, but it is far easier to start off in life with two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten million and turn that into 20, 30, 40, 50 than to start off behind the eight ball with not even five dollars and then turn that into a million. It's a totally, di totally different ball game. So here is Chipper Me's response. I live in California, New York. I didn't know. Well. Maybe he's independently wealthy. I don't know. I know plenty of people. I didn't go to college for money. I went to continue to developing a lifelong talent. The vast majority of people in college are not there for money. On this one, I call bullshit. But that's my opinion. In a minute, I'm going to break this down. That's not what it's for. College is not for people to go there and earn money. That is what this dude, Chipper Me, is saying. Most people who are going to college are not there to earn money at some point from the education that they gave. Now, to me, that just sounds like someone smoking a crack pipe. But let's continue on. Those who are there for money are doing it wrong. Let me say that again. Those who are there for money are doing it wrong. One more time for the people in the back with wax in their ears. Those who are there for money are doing it wrong. That's why they haven't gained. Remember, university was created by the wealthy for the wealthy. I will actually agree with that point to a degree. Notice the play on words. It's still like that. Wealthy people don't go to college for money. They go for knowledge. Now, some of the biggest colleges were started by people who didn't have degrees, which is really interesting when you think about it. But this is what I want to do with this little exercise. See, a lot of people come on and they want to have leave comments and they want to engage in dialogue with me because it's a one on one. And 
for a long time, I actually did not use the internet correctly. Because, see, there's a lot of stuff that goes on. There's comments I delete. There are people that I block. But I want to show you the insipid bullshit that I deal with. And I'm also going to ask something of you. I'm going to ask a favor. I want everyone who's part of Hustle Nation who agrees with me to go ahead and let Chipper Me know exactly how you feel about his comments, which I think are stupid, pointless, dumb. He may be a teenager whacking off in his mother's basement because on the internet, we don't know who he is. He's just a screen name. But let, let Chipper Me, could be a girl, could be a guy, sounds like a little bitch name. Let Chipper Me know how you feel if you agree with me. Now, it, hey, let's have fairness. If you agree with Chipper Me, go ahead and also chime in. I don't think there are too many people that are going to agree with Chipper Me, but I could be wrong. I'm also doing this as a social exercise to actually see how this thing plays out. And this is fun because I'm not going to respond to Chipper Me. And Chipper Me is here on how to prepare for the economic shift that's underway, this video. This bad boy. Because a lot of people disagree with me on the degree thing. A lot of people disagree with me on, you know, having a warehouse versus a storefront. And a lot of people have disagreed with me on several things that I know to be true based on experience and not theory. And many of these people who are coming at me are coming at me from a theory standpoint, which I find to be highly interesting. Highly, highly interesting and very, very intriguing. So, hey, do me a favor. Go ahead, chip in on Chipper Me, and uh, let's see what shakes out of this apple tree. All right, this is Glendon Cameron. Thank you so much for participating in my experiment. Looking forward to the results.